Well, we are recording. Um, oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> welcome to She's Good, a podcast. Welcome to She's the Man. It's a wearing Amanda Bynes. Man, a, the podcast. Oh. Is that movie? Do you think that movie is good? Yes. Well, I think it's good too. But is it? Is it like? Are we okay to watch it? Is it fine? I think so. Okay. Why yeah. would we not? Is it? Well. You know. After watching, um, oh wait, what was that? Like, is 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 it is it like you know transphobic or not? I would have to watch it again, but I I genuinely don't think so. But I don't want to speak. I like, think if a trans person told me it was, I'd be like, you're right. Oh, I please I don't chime know. in. But I don't think it is. I Disclosure. I like what is that? What was that documentary called? Of. Disclosure. Yeah, yeah so I don't good. No, I guess I have no idea. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it again. I think I have it on DVD somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we are She's the Man, the podcast, and we didn't look into it before this. Um, But as you can see, we have... So we had to change. (laughs) We have um, artwork now. You can't see the whole thing because it's in like... uh, Wherever you're getting this podcast, you'll see the art. Yeah, you would have already seen it. (laughs) But this is the first time we have had it. We are showing I do love how everyone experiences it with us or before us <laughs> yeah like they already know what the we're going and through assuming that everyone has listened to it to all of the episodes oh, they which they have. better and they have and from they have. the beginning it's a journey <laughs> it's about the journey it's not about the destination life's a journey and it's about living it's about laughing it's just about loving. and it's about loving yeah oh at the end oh. of the day oh. well at the end of the day Guys, we haven't yet mentioned the word sports, and <laughs> we are we are a sports podcast. Yeah, I told iTunes that we were. Good, and I think we are. So should we talk about sports? I think, I think let's go for it. Okay. Get it. So, cute little anecdote. So, I think we discussed last time, but Sammy Whitcomb of the Seattle storm had to leave the bubble early to go be present for the birth of her child in Australia. And I was reading an article and apparently when she gets to Australia, she has to quarantine for two weeks and she lives in like Western Australia. Then they like recently had like kind of an outbreak. So when she gets back to Western Australia, she then has to quarantine for another two weeks. Oh no. So she's, so she that's why like, she had to leave so early. Right. That's why she <laughs> oh, had to leave so God, early. Oh God, yeah. To, we were like, what is, for four weeks. what is her baby about to happen? But four, four <laughs> weeks, jeez. That's nuts. Yeah. Just like in a hotel by yourself after being quarantined for so long, for like yeah. months for the basketball season mm-hmm. that's nuts yeah that's insane so so basically what what you're saying is she is on seattle storm she is the baby has not happened yet no the baby well i mean the baby the bebe has not happened the bebe and also to be clear it's her wife that's pregnant she's not pregnant she has not <laughs> <laughs> gone through oh, a whole yeah, WNBA she's, she's been playing season, a full season and now is pregnant in quarantine for one full month by herself that would be pregnant. really hard <laughs> i know but um, i would not put it was... past someone in the WNBA though right skylar diggins smith played while she was pregnant i'm pretty oh. sure yeah <sighs> um oh, but the, the the funny anecdote that was cute to me was i saw a quote from like a press conference or like an interview she did or something and she said how Alicia Clark wants her to name the baby Clarkson and she and she and Sammy was like and I will not be doing that and Stewie wants me to name the baby Stewie and I will not be doing that (laughs) (laughs) they're all pulling for their some variation of their own name (laughs) name the baby Stewie that's like I know (laughs) can you imagine be born two feet two feet seven Seven inches inches tall (laughs) call back (laughs) call back and that's in this podcast is the long game you kind of do have to listen to every episode (laughs) just to pick up on our things yeah what you're going to realize is that we've been doing a herald this whole time (laughs) yeah and we're literally only on the second scene of the first beat (laughs) so of the first beat um but yeah i thought that was funny because that's something i do i'm always like you know katie really is a gender neutral name katie works for any gender i tell pregnant people so does mary beth 
so does Mary Beth. Julia as well. I, Julio. You, you Julia, see it all the time. Julio. <laughs> you see you it, see all, it all, the all the time. time. Uh, Marty Ben. <laughs> Marty Ben. <laughs> I don't know, like, a quote-unquote masculine <laughs> equivalent to Katie, though. Ka- Kato? I don't know. Kato Kalen. K- Kater. Kato's a K- name. Man. K- Kate- Kaden. Kaden. If I ever have a son, that, ch- that kid's name is gonna be Marty Ben. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Marty Ben Colvin. <laughs> he will take my last name, absolutely. <laughs> I, love, I mean, you could marry someone with the last name Colbix, too. His full name will be Marty Elizabeth. By the way, if you do marry someone, you do have to take their name. The woman has to take the man's name. And it oh, does actually, sure. the marriage yes. does have to be a, between a woman and a man. Yeah. That's when what I marry her on, on, on She's Good. That's when I marry, way. I'm going to marry a toothpick so that my last name is Toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, good, fine. Good. I'll I'll marry I'll marry a coffee mug, and then my last name will be Coffee Mug. I think that's I think it would just be Mug. Oh, fine. Toothpick. First name Coffee. <laughs> Everyone last knows Coffee mug. is the first name. Oh my gosh. Oh my bad. Yeah, I didn't I didn't <laughs> get enough info from this person. <laughs> yeah. This person that you're gonna marry who's a coffee mug. <laughs> Oh yeah, the coffee God. mug is the person. Uh, anyway, congrats yeah. ahead of time, Sammy Wickham, on your quarantine and best of luck. And new with the baby, baby Marty Ben. <laughs> and your new baby Marty Ben Colbert. Your new baby M- Marty Ben Caden Stewie. <laughs> Her baby will take my last name. <laughs> it's the law. She has to. It is the law. It's the law in Australia, which is where the baby's <laughs> being born. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, but she you know oh, what? It's so okay good. that she left because her team did Am I allowed to say yet? Her team I think you can. Win her team the, did the WNBA win. championship for 2020. Yes. 2020. 2020. 2020. Seattle Storm baby. 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 Did either of you guys were either of you guys present on Twitter the other day when um dear Hamby and Asia Wilson of the Las Vegas Aces got into a Twitter beef. Nope. Tell me everything. No. They, like, were, like, insulting each other back and forth on Twitter. And um, it was, I was, like, it was kind of, like, some of them were, like, kind of, like, mean. Like they were, like, a real roast? Like, 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 um, like, dear... Like, Asia says something, and then says something, like, oh, that's funny, like, because you told me that, like, we wouldn't have gotten this far without me, and then Asia said, like, a good leader knows when to, like, uplift her, like, <laughs> co- So, like, her, wait, her, like, were teammates. they joking, or were they really just, like, are they The friendly? next day, they, they were, like, we were kidding. Okay. Oh <laughs> but everybody God. was, like, a lot us? of people, a lot of people were, like, I hope this isn't real. Like, oh no, I just want everyone to be friends. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly why I thought of you, Mary Beth, and that's exactly why I didn't send it to you. Oh man. Because I was like, it is a little stressful. I hope they're good. Um, but you know Mary what? Beth they're currently uh, not in the same season, so they can have the drama. I just that's want them true. to be friends on, on the court. That's true. <laughs> on the court. And then they can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everyone to get along and be supportive of each other. I don't know. I change my mind about what I want every, yeah, every you're day. Very back yeah, the rules are us. always changing. How it has <laughs> the rules to shift just when depending on, the on my mood. <laughs> but I support just that, in honestly. season, off season, they can hate each other's guts. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I need drama, so they can hate each other when I feel the need for drama. Yeah. True. But they don't. They don't. They were just they doing don't. a bit on they Twitter. Um, so cute. Yeah, I love that. But it was also kind of funny because, like, some people on Twitter were like, Who, like, because a lot of people are like, I hope this isn't real. And people were like, why, like, why do we care? Like, if it, like, if, I like, I feel like, no, 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 but even just like, if two, like, male basketball fans, or not fans, teammates got into like a Twitter beef, everyone would be like, oh my God, like, this is all, like, oh, that's but because so they're crazy. women, we like expect them to like get along and like, <gasps> I literally did not even stuff. think about that. I think I would laugh it off if it were two guys. I mean, I still want people to be friends. I, like, want That's that. That's true, yeah. But, but it was just an interesting yeah. comment that someone made that I was like, 
Oh, that kind of is true because I'm sitting here like I hope they're I hope they're friends. I, I feel like I would. Be I'm like I hope I can get past this. I feel like I would be <laughs> equally interested in the drama. Oh, I'm so inter- interested in all the drama, but yeah, it was but, weird. right. They were like, yeah, one of them said the next day, they were like, we're literally, we were literally FaceTime each other, like, as we're sending these tweets out. <laughs> like, it's not that deep. What a fun Yeah. Um, and it was successful. Yeah, they really, but you know what's scary about that? Like, what if people were, like, hopping on board one of their sides? Like, oh, you no, and start also. Go get her, Asia. Yeah. She's, <laughs> yeah. She does, she's done nothing. Oh. Yeah. She sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'd be sad. Yeah, that's yeah. so true. That would be that would be bad. Uh, I'd be sad unless they deserved it. But I feel like <laughs> anyone like, who Get her. I feel like anyone who would jump in and be like er, would text like would know that person and be like text Asia and be like is this fake before they jump in. And, oh, like, anyone who knows. You know? yeah. yeah. Well, no fans. I don't know. Twitter yeah, fans don't matter. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> I'm here to tell you stands. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth's don't gonna have it. a week. <laughs> Mary Beth's we gonna told them my last Twitter. name in this podcast. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. Don't do it. They're not gonna be able to spell it. It's actually it's That's it's true. pretty much like it's pretty sounds, phonetically. <laughs> now I'm giving That's them really true. more info. <laughs> it's spelled L. You guys are gonna dox me. <laughs> don't, guys. You can ro- you can roast us. Just don't dox us. Call back. <laughs> <laughs> go back oh just literally gosh. don't just literally don't dox us we don't dox I, us. you guys we're at we they're we're asking for it now so no we're <laughs> asking them not to but do it which stands it. would get mad i mean wmba improviser are listening to this as knows we're begging for it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when when someone tells you, okay, another improv rule. Sorry, we already talked about the hero. <laughs> now we're gonna tell you one more thing. Is like when someone tells you to stop, that means like, oh, egg them on a little bit more. Ooh, this really. But in this case, good. I mean, really stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when really? I say stop, I mean stop. We're yeah, sending all, we're sending mixed signals. Yeah, to all our young listeners. To like, no means no. Yeah. Uh, also, as um, long as we're we're talking about it, uh, I got my goat tea. Yes. Goat tea. Look at oh, that. We're yes. talking about it. That goat is massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as long as we're talking about shipments of shirts, um, I did get mine. And as, as long, long as we're talking about it, I did get my Put Women's Sports on TV t-shirt. Put- as long as we're talking about it, I'm wearing the shirt from 2005. <laughs> yes. It was not shipped. I bought it in store. <laughs> Oh, wow. nice. at, like on did campus? that exist in 2009? Probably at the Den. Okay. Is that what it's called? Which I don't think exists any longer. I've heard rumor. I don't know. Last That's time sad. I went to Iowa City, it was a very different place. And that was just like three years ago. So who's to say? It's really oh, up and coming. Wow. It's Wait, really do you remember that? Katie looks like she, she doesn't believe me. I mean, <laughs> no, I it's think- not. A lot of college towns are very fun and nice, so I believe you. I don't think I was in general. Now the Iowa stands are going to come from. Oh me, but. no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I well, yeah. I'll just quit while I'm ahead. Not even I'm the school Iowa, Iowa, but the state of side. Iowa stands. Yeah, yeah. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> I don't count. <laughs> I tried. Oh I really gosh. tried. I'm reaching out. Oh the boy. But nobody's taking it to the stands. <laughs> We're really this just what I get. ourselves in a hole for this one. <laughs> oh my goodness! But four champs now, four ships now, four wins for Sue Bird. Wins by champion. Yes. Both her and, and LeBron girl. James, but um, and LeBron. Yeah, LeBron won yesterday. Good for him. I like. Well, I oh like my god! LeBron. I don't care no what the haters crazy. say. I like LeBron. I really thought they had won like a while ago. Like the champ- <laughs> the NBA championships was were over. Like it's just been over. I, one of my friends is like a really big Lakers fan, and I go, "Hey, congrats on the Lakers win!" Because I knew they had won, but I thought it was like the end of the the whole thing. And he just like didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And now he won't speak to you. Yeah. Ooh. In other sporting news, and again, this is a tangent. This is not related to women's sports but did anybody see Dak Prescott break his ankle um I did see a photo (laughs) 
Who is he's a cornerback for quarterback for the Cowboys, I believe. Dallas Cowboys, but yeah. he uh, really did a number on his ankle, and that like if this were how the foot were supposed to look, it's this yeah, is how it looks it was in the wrong direction. Like, no, and he was just like pointing uh, at no, it, and everyone no. around him was just like, <laughs> "What do I do? No. do look it up." When no, we're don't done. look it up. No, we explained it really good. Uh, Katie's visual was good enough. I it just, was just like sideways, especially to like watch it in action. No, and like as throughout the play too, like you see it break like full. I did ankle not watch the, the play. Ground. Oh, so you see it break like full ankle to the ground, and That's then okay. he's We're like rolling. Get so it's like flopping around. It's so horrible. He's trying to still. He's trying to still run and like score a touchdown. <laughs> he was just like tangled up. He was tangled up with the guy that tackled him, and just like. I saw another picture of like this is just some football picture and they were like oh this uh, this is like scary as they were going down the one guy was like trying to like basically like like turn this guy's leg the other way of well how it's supposed to go I wouldn't like that behavior I will never let my kid Julio (laughs) Schroeder Play Don't football. Play I don't see that right now. <laughs> Marty Ben can follow his dreams. Um, none of my children will be playing football. That's just a close head injury waiting to happen. Yeah. Or a nice Marty ACL Ben can follow his dreams, injury. but as we know, that's not my baby. That's Sammy Whitcomb's baby. So <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like Marty Ben's gonna be like a basketball star, though. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I know. I I do agree <laughs> with that. Oh man. But um, there's actually been something that I've really wanted to talk about for several weeks. Oh, what is it? And that is a phenomenon in soccer called the all white soccer kit. Oh, which everyone listening kit just means uniform. Yeah, <laughs> like we will save you the years. I call them yeah. soccer outfits. Yes, <laughs> that's, if that's more relatable. Soccer costumes. So what's so- with the all white? And I mean, white top, white shorts, white socks, just all white. So you don't I like, like that? White. You don't like I would that? not no. like wearing white shorts no. just in life. I hate it. I feel like it was always like, we loved it playing. Some of them look cool. Like the ones, because they have like like hidden details. Like the thorns has thorns. Okay, that them. I would say is an exception because um, that actually has some interesting detail. I but I believe the Red Stars have the Chicago skyline on oh, the backs yeah. of them like on the butt part of it i guess Katie, i'm more talk- that i no, no 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 i just don't like them <laughs> i just I, think they're so, so funny i just think they're not like for most of them i would say like the thorns white is cool because it does have that detail it's on like it. only half white technically the rest is kind of like a like gray grayish yeah. yeah but like washington spirit and ol rain and I know there's, I guess like sky blue's fine because there's like a lightning bolt on it. Still not my favorite though, but I don't like it. I, I don't know. like I it. I feel everyone always plays worse when they wear their 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 white outfits. They're really nervous that they'll get it dirty. Maybe that is so fun. Okay, so like the all white kits are usually when you're the home team, and it we always loved wearing the white uniforms because they I I think it's I never thought about that they look weird being all white but I guess I think that's like part of it for me but like part of it is like the like wouldn't it be annoying to have to wear all white when you could bleed through oh well so they did talk about this on the tee they did talk about this in the tee yeah yes they did I'd be nervy. And I think that that is something to totally consider. I always wear Under Armour, like, shorts underneath every jersey I wore because I think that's just more comfortable. Um, but even then, you could bleed through that. I just think yeah. – I also just think – sorry, this is a podcast about women's sports. Tampons fucking suck. Yeah. They're so stupid. <laughs> and they – if if one minor thing goes wrong, it is the most uncomfortable thing. 
<laughs> in the entire world. <laughs> and then you just have to like you could like, like angle it. the applicator in just like slightly the wrong way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stab yourself in the uterus. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And then you and then you're done. You are done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's true. I think part of what like that is one obviously one part of the white kid issue for me, but the other part is that I think that they're boring. Like, at least the ones in the NWSL, the exception being the Thorns, and I think Orlando also has, like, a feathered, like, pattern on the sleeves Mm -hmm. to, like, represent their supporters group, because I think they're called, like, the Swans or something like that. Oh, okay. Um, Which is cool. Look at all the trivia, you know. But for the most part, it's just, like, a white, blank, yeah, slate, jersey. Blank slate. And I look at, like, the... Yeah. And I look at like the jerseys in the WSL in England and I'm like, oh, they're like home and away kits are like cool. (laughs) I mean, not necessarily like super cool, but they're at least more visually interesting. You just don't, you don't like the the color or the the non-color, if you will, of white. You know what? Okay. I don't like white cars. Um, Oh, interesting. I don't have a white car. (laughs) Is that, con- am, I con- am I contributing? No, that's fair. Oh, yes, did yeah. you say you have a white car? Sorry. Yeah, I do. My I dad had one and I'm you. like, I don't like this color. Here's uh, my thing. There's a new, newish trend. It's not that new. A few years where your shirts, your jerseys are not tucked into your shorts. And I'm mm-hmm. for it. I think that's fine. I think that does make the like design of the jerseys a little bit less interesting where i think like to have an all white an all white kit where it's like untucked and whatever it can kind of be like are you wear- what are you wearing right now it's wearing like a as hanes opposed- tee <laughs> yeah 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 as opposed to like if you if it's tucked in it gives it like more like oh okay this is what this yeah. is or whatever yeah interesting i've got to say i don't really care either way I felt so strongly about it. I had to bring it up. I to the believe. Group. I believe. I'm very I believe glad to know. that you should feel how you feel. I just think that they deserve something cooler than all white, like with nothing else going on. Like, if you want a white top, fine, but like, you can have like a cooler bottom too. <laughs> have a different bottom. more. Like you want yeah. more, more of a, a well, color even, like, profile. Bio. yeah like orlando their colors are like purple and white why not wear purple shorts that would be cool i would buy purple shorts uh yeah basically i just want them to sell me stuff i want i we guess you're know. right i'll email hq i'll email soccer hq please please do <laughs> and tell them I soccer my hq at aol.com and- <laughs> <laughs> yeah please let them know that i'm unhappy and that i expect them to make me happy rectify the situation i will katie's pissed I'm did you guys pissed. see that the um, name your son after logo did you guys did see i that see the logo what julia for- <laughs> <laughs> did you see that the logo for racing fc was released i saw what you said it looked like a uh stevenson spartan is that why you like it Oh, I don't know that I like it. I just am into that lavender. Oh. But it really did look like Stevenson. That's Bradley. for that was for their supporters group, right? Oh know. yeah. Okay. This is what exactly what I wanted to explain because you know it reminded me of that when you said that there's a swan on there. Whatever it was. What'd you say it was? A swan? Yeah, I think it's a swan. I think it's oh. like the symbol of their supporters group. So what is I don't get that's a fan club? What is that? <laughs> so fan club. Every Go group, back. Yeah. Every group <laughs> Every team seems to have like a dedicated, um, yeah, basically just like legion of fans that always go to games. They're the ones who are beating those drums. Yeah. They're like doing all this stuff. And I know that a lot of times the fan groups are like actively involved in the community, doing like cool, cool stuff in the community. Um, so like Portland, they all have like names. Right. Um, yeah, but Portland, I think, is like the Riveters. Okay. I thought, Riveters. when you said they all have names, I thought you meant all of the members have names. And I'm like, of course um, they all have names. Marty, Ben, <laughs> um, Kaden, um, Julio, they all, all have names. 
But Julia, um, you've heard, like with Sky Blue, you've like seen stuff like Cloud Nine. I think mm-hmm. that's their supporters group. Yes. Yeah. Um, and Arsenal have one. Yeah, I do know. Yeah. Do know so this. now it's like making sense. So that logo with like the Spartan thing is the Lavender Legions. Um supporters group uh, okay. logo yeah what is so, yeah. it oh never never mind what are the arsenal supporters the gunners the gunners is the arsenal because they're guns uh, yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 totally that makes sense Whew, learning a lot learning a lot we learned Come something on way so far i really feel like we've we're making strides in this oh this gosh, episode it feels good it, we're yeah, barely it, scratching the surface <laughs> With the potential. I mean, like, we've made strides, but, like, we are barely scratching this. You are right. <laughs> Just you to say right. to our listeners, we ain't going anywhere. We ain't going Just nowhere. We ain't um, going nowhere. Yeah. Oh, I thought... I oh, thought yeah, I was into that logo, too. I yeah, I was into freeze. that design. Oh, um, it was cool. Well, okay. So speaking of the NWSL, what happened this week? Who played? What happened? Oh, so much happened. Oh, so much happened. Uh, so much. He simply played Orlando. Yeah. Yes. A Friday night uh, happy hour game. Ooh, oh yeah, it was like five p.m. It was. Yeah. Uh, and Houston as we won. expected, Houston won. Yes. They really. They truly were so good this series. I feel. Yeah. Um, they really turned around my thoughts of being not my favorite team to one of the tops. Yeah, I they're just really fun to watch. A, you know, like, totally. to be fair, all nine, I'm like, oh, I like this team. Oh, I like, I don't know if there's a team that's, like, not my favorite team. I can't, I truly have so much fun not picking one because then I'm yeah. just excited about every game. Yeah, for um, sure. And I will, so, when I'm watching, like, sometimes choose, like, who I want to win in that moment. But, mm-hmm. like, yeah then whatever (laughs) yeah it's over um it was cool because i finally got to watch my girl sydney larue score a goal she got her she got her goal did you have to watch it the next day (laughs) no 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 no. did you miss that one or no no i watched it oh and then uh remember she got a super mad at the ref right after is that her with i did miss that part Uh, oh did she wait tell me what happened this is she just problem. like I don't remember she, she I don't I feel like she got a yellow card I don't even know something she was arguing with and I was like she's gonna murder that human uh, mm, she's intense <laughs> yeah wait that's Everyone so came great out that okay. she that she played though and she scored she got a goal yeah uh, oh but something I wanted to call is that Ashlyn Harris was not available for that game so their like backup slash rookie goalkeeper. Oh, yeah. What was her name? Brit- I have it written down. Brittany uh, Wilson. Brittany Wilson. She, she made some great saves. Yeah, yeah there was she one did. that was like remarkable. I don't yeah. know. It was like up on like the in the corner, and she jumped and hit it away. I can't remember yeah. who. I thought she had a great game. Oh, I yeah. love that. She well, good. last time they played Houston, they lost like four to one. Yeah, so they're getting better. Yeah, and also <laughs> in in Orlando's defense, they have they did not play in the Challenge Cup for mm-hmm. reasons we discussed go mm-hmm. listen to earlier episodes yeah and they've sent a bunch of their players abroad to get minutes so they mm-hmm. have like they're not all of their of team people, there yeah. yeah they're missing a lot of people um so yeah um it looks exciting to watch it was good also it seemed so humid i did i did look mm. up remember i did look up the dew point it just because of how terrible point. it looked and it was, was it in was orlando it 83 degrees 73 and 70, the dew point. Point. Yeah. It was too, it was too, damn. It was gross. It was really gross. It was oh, raining for man. a while. Yeah. Uh, but, but, um, Houston scored twice and Christy Mewis assisted Mewis both of those goals. She's been killing She's an all-star. It. Proud of my queen. Yeah. Queen. Assist champion. She holds her hair high. I love those Mewis girls. Peck. I know. I, I know. I know. I'm jumping, but but I, I did. I did watch. What I did watch was the um, Man City and Chelsea game, and I watched so how that. Was that. Yeah. Good. Sam, what'd you say? Sam Mewis was so so good. She's good. Yeah, she's she's good. She's really she's doing really scoring. well over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been doing really well over there. I think she, she fits right in. Yeah, with that group and. I think she's like 
able to show off her skills even more than with Carolina. So I'm like, get it, girl. Get it, girl. We see you in Europe. We see you in Europe. Avoid um, that COVID. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry to change the subject, but this happened to me earlier, and it just happened to me again where I thought you were in this home again, Julia. <laughs> I'm like, what room are you in? <laughs> Oh, sorry. Uh, hold on. Sorry, my my parents and brother are, are back here. Guys, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm recording. It's like Muppet Babies, where you can't see their heads. It's I just like nanny legs. <laughs> no, just go without me. Fruit snacks. Just get fruit snacks. Ooh, I would love some fruit snacks. Honestly. I really like how they've dressed to go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> what is the costume that they're dressed up? Oh, uh, see, I feel like you could. The baby see is an employee. The baby is a Target employee. Frosh Prince. Yeah. Oh, Cassius, yeah, works at, at Target. <laughs> He's, oh my, he works that's there. So They're just going to take him to work and pick up a few things. Take him Scrab to work. A couple things. <laughs> um, but the other games this weekend for the NWSL were Sky Blue versus Chicago, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Sky Blue won. Sky right? Blue won. Is that like yeah. Yeah. Was it three to one? Them. Three to one. Yeah. Midge, did, wait, did Mel Pugh play or no? No, she's been oh, out with she's injury. Hurt. She's hurt. I think yeah. she hurt her Achilles. Last yeah, something. Yeah, something. which you don't want to fuck with. Yeah. Okay, something that's right. or something or other. Yeah, but yeah, so that Purse. was how'd she play? Mitch Purse. She had two assists. What girl? Um, then Paige Monahan had two goals and an assist, and then Ifiana Manu had the other goal. It was nice. it was it was nice she's to see good too. She gets a she's lot of goals. She's really great. Oh, I did. think she's awesome. Yeah. It was nice to see them finally like clicking cuz I think they've struggled a little bit to like make make it happen and especially in the like in terms of scoring goals. Um mm -hmm. so it was really cool to see them win and I really like their them. coach and their like management team. So yeah. Good work. Also, look into, like, also in the going game. to games. Because well, that was that was in Jersey. Yeah, that was in Jersey. Not at Red, Red Bull, but yeah, like Montclair. No, at some, yeah, yeah. Some like college campus. Mm -hmm. Which I ended up, okay, so there, the, uh, there were like Instagram pictures from that game and like Montclair University was like tagged or, or whatever. And so I went, I don't know why, because it looked really pretty. So I, mm -hmm. So I went there and it's like half of the photos are from this one like influencer who I guess went there and he's like this bodybuilder and there's just like so many shirtless pics if you go to Montclair <laughs> University. Like if you click That's on so the strange. Location. That seems like a lot. Like <laughs> why? Because he tagged every single one that he was there. So when you go to that location. <laughs> it's just but that why would he do there. that? That's Probably so because weird. people will go to it and they'll all see. Mm-hmm. But he has like 50,000 followers or something. Uh, well, so look, it's working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's influencing someone. <laughs> also, in that, uh, <laughs> in that uh, Sky Blue and uh, Red Stars game, Tierna Davidson almost got a red card. If yeah. You know. mm, that was really exciting. She initially me. got a red card, but then they changed their mind. <laughs> what happened? What did yeah. you I don't do? even know. It didn't look that bad. She like slid into someone. Oh. But they changed their mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the ref pulled out a red card immediately. And then he went and consulted the like sideline ref because they had a better view, I guess. And then he came back and changed it to a yellow. Okay. Yellow. He got lucky because if she'd had, if she had gotten that red, she would have had to miss next year's opener, season Ooh. opener game. Man, it carries over into the next season. Yeah. Jeez, they take their, their card seriously. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, is it is the season over? For for, for them, them, yeah. There's one more weekend. I was talking I know, with James sad. today and he was like, Wow, when does the fall series end? And I was like, I think it goes through October. Like through the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, and they're getting Julia, October kind of deep over. In, it is half of Oct halfway into October. So. Shut, <laughs> up. Shut up. Shut up. Don't actually sure. don't say that to me ever again. Is <laughs> there, sorry. there it's really just friendlies, right? There's no like tournament at the end or anything. Right? Well, well, the it's so it is a tournament. But it is a tournament. The winning team gets like twenty five thousand dollars for their partner charity. Second place team gets fifteen thousand, 
and the third place gets 10,000. So they each partnered with the charity in their community and they will give the money to them if they win. How did that, how does that work though? So, but none of the pods play each other, right? So it's no, just by so points? It's, it's, yeah, yeah, it's just purely points. Oh, okay. So we That's already wild. know that Port- Portland won that. Because place. Portland also played this past weekend, they yeah. played OL Rain and they won. So they, so they clinched, clinched the number it. one. The wow. Dash clinched the number two spot. And just, is I think, number three is up in the air. Is there a battle gotcha. for third? Yeah, there's a battle for third. I like Ooh. that, though. That's cool because the the, yeah. the the winning doesn't necessarily matter. Like, the fairness of it doesn't necessarily matter because it's going to right. mm-hmm. it's it's going going to charity. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So I did want to talk about the <clears throat> Orlando, or not Orlando, the Portland and OL Rain game because... There were two fouls that resulted in penalty kicks for Portland. Oh, yeah. You said you didn't like those. It's not even that I didn't like them. Why? They just seemed like – well, I I don't know that both of them were PKs. Uh And it was the same player. Both of the – it was – I know they both were PKs, but I don't know if they were both deservedly penalty kicks. But it was the same player on – Oh, that's us. I think it was the same player on OL Rain who did it both times. Right. So it was like, girl, you gotta reel it in. Oh, jeez. You gotta reel it in. Lesson learned. Pull yeah, in the I pull guess. pull up on the reins, if you will. Oh, <laughs> slow her down. Yeah, that's so annoying. I don't know. I just I don't like when. I mean, yeah, I don't like when it's like too two yeah two <laughs> yeah and it decides the game it's so stupid right yeah there were there were there was a pk in um in the i keep talking about it because it's the only game i watch in the man man city um chelsea, chelsea. game well yeah, there were two about it. weren't there okay yeah, so there well, let's two. finish up yeah, the end of before yeah, we yeah. go <laughs> into wsl <laughs> but basically the, the finishing up is to just say that portland won that game and with winning that game they won the fall series because they have the most points cool. and no one else can catch them even if they win. Cool. Okay. Let's talk about the, the WSL, the women's super league in England. So we, Julie and I both watched the Chelsea versus Manchester city game. And there were two controversial penalty kicks, Julia. Would you agree? I would absolutely agree. One for each team. Yeah. Yeah. And by the time the second one happened, I was like, they better, they need to make that a penalty kick. Or, yeah, and like, make it up. Yeah, make up for the bad call earlier. I wonder if, I mean, honestly, that stuff would, that like would make sense if that was why yeah. she did it. Yeah. Because that the second one, now that we're talking about, like, uh, this was Chelsea, um, a Chelsea goal happened, right? It was called on Man City, or is that wrong? The first one, I think, was called on Man City. Okay. So, Mewis plays for Manchester City. Manchester City. And they lost. Yeah. Three yes. to one. Three? It was right. three. You're yeah. right. Yep. Yep. Totally. That first one, the first one, I didn't even really see what happened. It was like the, the, the play had moved on and someone like tripped over someone else and they called a, they called a penalty kick on the the person who did the tripping who didn't do anything it was like the yeah. play had moved on it made no sense to me yeah it was it was a strange call i thought i was like that and they played it again and again and i was like that does not to me seem like a penalty kick i had but no they don't have clue. var they don't have video oh okay referees in in you know so they didn't have the help of a video replay. They were, I, they did, they were talking about it at halftime. Um, that like the the they went over to the the AR and they were like, um, is this was this right or and whatever whatever happened? I mean, it was a, they scored on this PK and sorry. <laughs> Is my internet out? Yeah. Did I freeze? 
it was an interesting it's interesting to see like it's okay though but it's interesting to see these international players who i like recognize from watching like the world cup Mm -hmm. and mostly the world cup (laughs) and like other like the she believes cup and other friendlies and stuff like that um it's cool to see them play you know well we'll watch more as as we go because nwsl ends yeah next week the only frustrating thing is like with the time difference the games like tend to be on at like mm. broadcast at like seven thirty to um, nine thirty a.m. Yeah. on Saturday mornings, <laughs> mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that is a little There's frustrating. No but but you can watch the games. Some of them are on NBC Sports Network, and then some of them are on this service called FA Player, which is free. Mm-hmm. You just mm-hmm. like sign up for an account, and you can watch some of these games streamed live on FA Player. So that's yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm like, oh, sweet, something I don't have to pay for. Yeah, cool. do they yeah, leave exactly. them on there? Or is it like you have to watch it while it's on? I believe you have to. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to answer without knowing. <laughs> Seems like you I don't know. I, answer. <laughs> <clears throat> I th- yeah, actually, I I have no. I have no clue either because I was going to say that I think you have to watch it, but uh, it might be one of those things where like day after you can, you can go. Yeah. But FA player is not like, the one thing is it's not an app. So if ever I want to watch it on TV, you have to like, you know, broadcast it from your Apple, whatever. And you yeah, have, see, you do have to have an Apple pro- product to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't. Yeah, you definitely do. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, should we talk about the recent, um, list of players that were called up to the u.s national team's october camp okay yes we absolutely should because we get to now finally know who was in flatco's mm-hmm. little black book yeah it wasn't just little fourth grade s's like i thought <laughs> i mean it still could have been <laughs> and like the little guy that's peeking over the wall mm-hmm. yeah oh my gosh <laughs> yeah <laughs> the nose yeah, is it's just, just like, pages nose, and pages of him or like a droopy ear dog um <laughs> yes. i used to draw like spongebob the... a lot <laughs> spongebob he's just Patrick a square oh, oh okay he's just um, no, i would get the eyes you got to do the eyes the oh, teeth good. the hands you know what i Doodle mean Bob. um but yeah so with there being like a handful of players um out abroad they're not coming back obviously so it really opened up a lot of and there's some injuries too but it opened up a lot of space for new people i feel Um, like between that and injuries there's like 10 spots that were open to like get a look at people so that's actually pretty cool i think yeah definitely was there who were you guys most excited about that got called up Mm. shea groom i think i was pretty darn excited yeah super excited to see shea groom had she been called up before um i don't think I so don't think i don't think so, she no. had i think that um kalia watt and yes. christy mewis had been before but mm-hmm. then stopped playing and they're back yeah and, that was uh, cool too mm-hmm. yeah i was excited about shea groom super excited about christy ashley sanchez mm-hmm. um that should be really fun and interesting um I'm trying to look at my list here Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Bethany Balser. Right oh, be- oh, oh, we were Bethany Balser. Bethany Balser. We're just Another always gonna root. Balser. We're just always gonna root for her because she's a Michigan girl. Yep. We and- will. Uh, Bethany, if there's any way for you to listen to this, we want you on as a guest. <laughs> we want Anthony you to be our fourth Balser. host. We would like to go to your game. Your, <laughs> if you can Bethany. help us with that. Just help us out, girl. Bethany Balser. Bethany Balser. Bethany Balser. Like she's just going to hear us say your name in robot voices every single episode and be like, mm, I don't want to, to associate with this. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> Let's be no, real. She's, she's got not a good listening. sense of humor. <laughs> she's <Yeah>. not listening yet. <laughs> um, yeah. Of course, but I'm excited like, about Midge Purse. Totally. Yeah. Which she has been called up recently, though, right? She's yeah. She's yeah. been getting called up, but. Yeah. Definitely. Um, um, she back? Okay, she there's back? one that I saw like a Twitter storm about. Um, this Katarina Macario. Are you guys familiar oh, yeah. with her? At all? It might be Masario. I've heard it pronounced Masario. I've only it heard it pronounced oh. Macario. Well, who knows? She's from Brazil and now she's a U.S. citizen, so she can play. Uh, she's a, supposed well, she to be like a superstar. US, 
She just, yeah, she plays for Stanford. She, I think she moved to the U.S. when she was like 12. She just became a citizen like the other day. And I know FIFA has certain guidelines and like restrictions on when people are eligible to play. Like you can't just like move to a country and then automatically be able to play for that country. Right. Okay. So the first step for her was to get her citizenship before she can play. And then I think there's like a certain waiting period, but they're trying to like fast track it so that she could be eligible. Wow. But there's like, there's like a, some cool clips of her doing crazy shit. Like, oh my God. I'll have to send you guys links, it. but she's good. Mm. You know what? She's good. She, so. I, I hear like she's Brazilians, good. Brazilians always have balls. Oh my skills. God. Yeah. <laughs> This is awesome. Yeah, so that'll be exciting. I'm excited about her. Oh, that's that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, it'll be it'll be sweet. Is there any way to like keep up on this too? Are we like obviously we can't like see what's going on, but is there somewhere to be like oh camp Probably info? Just, like follow their Instagram stories. I feel yeah. like they sometimes post stuff on there, but yeah, uh, like specifically the national teams Instagram mm-hmm. stories. Well, they'll post stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know any. Um, so I don't have any. In- <laughs> I was hoping that I'm hoping that they'll that. like show us like a scrimmage between the groups, like oh, yeah. England did. Remember that? I did yeah. watch um, that. I'll I include it in my email to soccer HQ. Yes, AOL. please. <laughs> that would be great. I I would appreciate. Eighty would that. also like to watch. I forgot what uh, the first thing was. Oh, no more white kids, right? Was that yeah, what it was supposed to be? I don't know if that. Maybe it was. I've got a list. Was. I've got I'll, a lot I'll of listen, things. I'll listen back. Opinions. <laughs> Make your white kids more exciting, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Give it some pizzazz. Jazz them up. Yeah, but that's so exciting. And this is the first, so this is the first camp since in like, you know, since COVID. Yeah. And it'll also be like, you know, uh, I don't know, for him to look at for the Olympics, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because they got to get, start getting ready for that since uh, that's what? allegedly gonna happen next summer <laughs> july yeah. would that be would it be when are olympics in the summer I august it, maybe it, it's anywhere from june to, to august i feel in the like. summer yeah um who knows yeah. when it's gonna be because it was supposed to be several months ago so they may just throw it in whenever they can yeah find i mean well, assuming that it even happens because everywhere not even go there yeah <laughs> um no but Shoot, what was it? I just had a thought that completely disappeared. Oh, and the Olympic squad is only 18 players, whereas that's the small. World Cup squad is 23. Mm-hmm. So that's not only is that five less than what who went to France, it there's also all these other players in the mix too. So it'll be interesting. It will be interesting. Dot that's org. a little jingle I wrote. I Dot like org. <laughs> Dot org. Yeah. No, no, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. yeah. There's a also Jane Campbell who, as we know, yes. makes me nervous. <laughs> got, got called up. Aubrey Bledsoe um, from Washington. I'm bummed that Britt Eckerstrom didn't because you know I'm I'm a fan. Um, I think she's so good. Yeah, she is so good. She's great. She's, she's good. A fantastic goalie. It's yeah. yeah. I'm mad I feel like I'm she mad will be someday. Savannah. Yeah. No, I'm mad that Kaylin Sheridan didn't, but she's Canadian, oh, yeah. so that's why. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is so good. She is sky blue. Right? She is sky blue. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Well, it'll be interesting, and that's October twelfth. What is it? No, that's literally yeah, today. It's like next week, eighteenth. Today like... is October twelfth. <laughs> I don't know when it is, but it's in October. By the time Maybe anyone listens week. to it, it'll it'll have already happened. Yeah, it'll be long past. <laughs> yeah, uh, true. Oh <laughs> well. Um. Well, should we um uh, very messily transition into the WNBA finals. Oh yes, please. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. We got to talk a, a little bit more. We, we touched on it earlier, but as, as yeah. you've heard us say, Seattle storm won. Yay! They swept uh, the Las Vegas aces. Mm-hmm. Took them yep. right out. And that last game we thought at first was going to be close. And uh, it sure wasn't. Oh God. <laughs> they won by like what? 30 points. I don't remember what the final score uh, it was. Truly was it, it was, was a lot. lot. It was 
it was a lot. They took him right out, but oh, man. Uh, yeah. I feel Seattle for Las Vegas though. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel for Las Vegas, but Seattle so deserved it. And I, a couple of Seattle players made a good point in their press conference after that they were one of the, I think they were the only team that was, that had everyone opt in and that didn't have any injuries going into the wobble. I mean, they had Sue Bird out for 50% of the season, but right. they, yeah, they didn't have anybody like go down with injury like a lot of other teams did. So they, are, they had yeah, that going for them, but also they were amazing. Yeah, they, so. they're, they're a very solid team, but they also have a very solid bench. So like even when Seabird mm. went out, like it didn't matter because right. Jordan Canada was there and so is so good. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. good. Um, yeah, but yeah, she's what she's uh, like an incredible point guard. If if she was their starting point guard, she would still be one of the best in the WNBA. It's yeah, just like right. really wild. Their in every game, stacked. I mean, every playoff game, they 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 came out knowing that they were going to win. The third game especially, it was just like a confidence. Oh, I mean, yeah. Ace is just. I mean, they just like if there was any like. If they if aces didn't play a hundred percent, they they had no chance. And right. and yeah, and I do feel bad for like Asia Wilson because I feel like especially with Eric Hamby going out with an injury, so much of the weight and the burden of like pulling it off rested on her shoulders. Mm-hmm. Whereas like with Seattle, that was not the case. Like right. they all, even the bench, had the capabilities of shouldering part of that burden. So even though like Stewie goes off for thirty eight points in the first game, like <laughs> yeah, they, if she like, was like, shooting poorly, left right, and right? Yeah, but if she had been shooting poorly, someone else would have been able to step up and shoulder that burden. Whereas I feel like Las Vegas didn't have quite the depth that Seattle had, so yeah, they had a lot more obstacles. Totally. I I also just think like this is the end of the season. You want to be able to like peak at the end of the season when playoffs mm-hmm. happen. But it's also so hard once again during like in a quarantine season where you haven't you haven't been training, you haven't been like playing games, all of a sudden you have to play every other day for like twenty to thirty days. And mm-hmm. then you go into playoffs like this is it's grueling and it's taxing and like uh-huh. if anyone else gets injured that doesn't only mean that they're out. It means everybody else has to play more or Mm -hmm. you're subbing in someone who is not, I mean, you're going to have to make up for it in some way. Not that they're bad, but. But they probably didn't get the time in the regular season that they would have needed to, you know, totally get there in the finals. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But Seattle did win and it was cool because Seattle's, they're, they're Seattle's one of only two WNBA teams that has an all-female ownership group, the other being the Atlanta Dream and Kelly Luffler. So, you know, I love Seattle's, though, because they remind me of the old ladies at the end of a league of their own. Like, yes, you did say the that. Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Look them up so sometime, funny. everybody, and, uh, <laughs> and you'll agree. That's them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Stewie got Finals MVP, which was yes. which she deserved. Crazy. So cool. In her last two seasons, she has won the championship and Finals MVP. Well, except for last, was it last season where she was out because her Achilles was ruptured? So she. Yeah, but I, I'm not counting that. Well, as I mean, season. that's even that's even crazy. Yeah, that yeah. She's back and like able to play at this level after mm-hmm. having that significant of an injury. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't come back from that. I know, and she came back. Better. Better. I'd be like, faster, take harder. my foot, take it off. Just keep <laughs> continue the amputation. Continue the keep amputation. It. Oh, continue a tendon a tendon has has ruptured. <laughs> Do the keep rest going. of it. Go through bone. Yeah. Take yep. it off. Just take She's the done. foot. <laughs> just take it. Just keep it. It's fine. Bron- put Enjoy it bronze it. it. Put it on your mantle. Let the med <laughs> students play with it. Do what you need. I don't want it anymore. I'm not going through that rehab no yeah i feel like i'm jinxing myself i'm gonna have some uh, yeah please don't worst. <laughs> i'm gonna like fall down <laughs> please the don't get injured that'd be terrible um i do have one little beef 
with Ooh, the championship me? winners. Oh. They didn't give me quite the like drunk locker room like content <laughs> that the Houston Dash did when they won. How mm-hmm. dare they? They I want more. I want more. There was yeah, there some like and it was good. Picks. But it wasn't enough, you know? Yeah. Like, I wanted to see the them. WNBA championship. Go yeah. nuts and give well, us drunk content. <laughs> I'm sure they did go nuts, but they just didn't give it to me. And yeah, that's yeah, my yeah. problem. Post. I did see, I saw a video Post. of them like coming back to the hotel and they like had champagne waiting for them. And they seemed like they had had some fun. Yeah. In the locker well, room previous. Too. I was watching the like the press conference conference afterwards and they still have to give a press conference even though they want to go like celebrate and mm-hmm. Sue Bird's sitting there like answering questions and then you see her like you kind of hear a noise in her eyes like go over and then she like is talking to someone off screen and then Stewie walks over and is like are, why are you still answering questions <laughs> and then she's like she'll take one more question she'll only take one more question oh my god I'm obsessed <laughs> and then Sue Bird's like Okay, okay, Stewie, like, <laughs> just one more. And then she turned back and she was like, sorry, guys. <laughs> but it was, like, <laughs> very funny. Like, and also, this might like, be, like, her one of her last seasons. Yeah, let her go <laughs> celebrate. And Stewie's like, we need you to come celebrate. Seems fun. Yeah. Love it. That's so funny. Love it. Oh, yeah. maybe I'll go celebrate right now. I'm like yeah. so. I Don't was like to put on riding your goggles. Oh, yeah. I was like riding high for days, and now I'm like, oh, there's no WNBA anymore. It is. I have had a lot of time on my hands. I'm so sad. <laughs> I know there used to be like three games a night for yeah. some. Like, <laughs> I know. Remember when I was like stressed out, and you were like, you don't have, you don't to, have watch to watch every game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I have to. You're plan still all supporting them, even if you're not watching them all. <laughs> yes. No, I have to. I have to watch them all. I have to watch them when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, literally. That's, I would do that. Gotta watch them all. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I used to wake up early as a kid to, um, you know, watch Arthur before school. Love. Naturally. And for Having this, fun to wake up. Yeah. Isn't hard. When you've got a library card. card. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got a A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. library card. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. The work to the... <laughs> Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll. Jekyll Do you Jekyll, remember that? Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll. <laughs> that was like the worst song they did, but it was just those words like repeated. Do you remember that, Julia? No. Oh, <laughs> I do. I'll find you a video. Oh my god. We'll link god. it. We'll link and bio it, you guys. I maybe like, it. Like, I'm in a weird spot in my existence where like i watched arthur like arthur ran while i was the appropriate age but then when i got older i continued to watch it with my sister so i just know like a decade of of arthur Arthur. Um, were you there when mr ratburn got gay married (laughs) that was like way past my time but i was happy about it i think i'm familiar um happy for the rat happy for that rat aww Happy for the rat. Happy guys, the rat. I'll leave you with this. This has been fun, you guys. Yeah. It's been leave us, I want to hear what Julia's going to leave me with. What are you saying? Go on. Um, I'm deciding between two things. One is... Same wolf. Okay. I um, passed the soccer ball around last week with Jackie Skinner. Oh. And, um, oh, how'd it go? Jackie! Fun. It was fun. I know. I know. Love her. I don't know Jackie, right. but tender She's my good love. She's peeps. She's good. Oh peeps. well, you would like Hi, Jackie. Oh, and can I piggyback off on that real quick, Julia? Yeah. Just to say that we got this like tiny Nerf basketball hoop, and I, I do you see my elbow? Oh, oh no! Yeah. I got during rug- Nerf basketball. A I got a rug burn because <gasps> I was like rolling around on the ball trying to get the rebound. It's really painful. Who anyway, go ahead. Friends do hurt. Who were you playing? My with? dad. <laughs> my dad. Wait, this reminds me of the days when we used to like have you know all the Nerf stuff. We would set up in the basement. Ben would have a Nerf basketball hoop in his room. Oh my god, we would play mm-hmm, hockey. Mm-hmm. You know what my favorite thing was? Mini sticks. And no, we would go play hockey. Mini sticks. Ooh. I loved mini sticks. Oh my mini god, sticks. we had little goals. <sighs> that was so fun. We would literally would, like, play for go hours. Go ham with mini sticks. Oh. We'd be like on our, on our 
This also reminds me in elementary school at Webster, we used mm -hmm. an, an enrichment, which is what they called recess. <laughs> what oh my a, God. What an accelerated school thing to do. <laughs> yes. You was Webster, like, Webster was, oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Webster was like all accelerated kids, right? It was solely that. Yeah. And there was a um, special ed program as well. Oh, yeah. Um, enrichment. 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 But we would have, you know, we would have like little um, cubes, like plastic cubes or whatever that you, I think we would like use to like count or, yes. or whatever. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. do math and stuff. But we would take those and we would play in the hallways. We would like basically play mini sticks with our hands as the sticks and the like cube as the puck. That's amazing. Nice. Man, I, I miss best. being a kid. Ugh. Same. <laughs> It only gets worse. I know. Does. Your body starts to fail. I still behave like one, except my body yeah. does not. <laughs> That's what I've been learning lately is like, you can't roll, like roll around like you, like I was playing catch with my dad yesterday. Oh, oh my God. It? It's painful. Yeah. It does hurt. Yeah. It's like, if you don't stretch before was. doing anything, you're going to be hurt. Yep. Mm. <sighs> Wait, what was part two of Julia? Now, what's oh, the other thing you're going to leave us with? Just that I've started running very short distances and oh. slowly, and that's been nice. How's your head? It's okay. It's getting there. Been trying to <laughs> it's do. okay, but again, I'm old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She I mean, I am marathon. 30 now, so... I hit 30 and my knee did too. Do you feel 30, the... flirty, and thriving? I do. I definitely do. I've been... I have been... Um, I have been flirting more, I have been 30ing more, and I have been nice. thriving more. Good. Nice. I'm glad. I'm glad. I do, I That's all like I want for you. The Thank 30s you. is a is a good decade. Specifically. Yeah, I'm excited. Is it the age of 30s and, and not the 1930s? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear it yeah. thundering, Mary Beth? No. And raining? Okay. Sorry. But there is supposed to be a thunderstorm, and you do live farther west than I do. So Coming your way. it may be approaching. Julia, That's we'll let you let us know when it gets to you. Okay, please. Yeah, I will. I mean, please, please do. I will. Please do me to you. Um, perfect. Okay. <laughs> yep, it is supposed to rain all tomorrow. It's coming. Okay, guys. Well, let's sign off. And um, you know, as always, to all our viewers and our listeners, like, you know, stay active. Just is stay active advice. because once you turn thirty, yeah. You're, You're gonna break. And it's all downhill from here. Uh oh.